looking at a mask like this. It's like an ice pack. Um, it's got like Velcro to tie around your head. And I guess it's used the same way as, you know, like ice therapy, cryo. Therapy. I'll, I'll just tie it on. I don't actually use the straps. I like to hold it down and I hold it down on my face for like um, 10 seconds. I do that, have a bit of a break, another 10 seconds, another break, 10 seconds, and then I use it on my neck, 10 seconds, take it off, 10 seconds, take it off, 10 seconds, and then take it off. Use it like cryotherapy. Anyway, um, I've been looking at research that looks at cryogenic therapies. And to be honest, um, you know, like cryotherapy has been used in the medical field for many years, but it's mainly been used as anti-inflammatory or um, as a form of numbing. Um, so I know that in a lot of, you know, clinical settings, like if you're having a treatment which um, does have pain after the procedure, you're given like an ice pack. So it's used for that. But in terms of rejuvenating the skin, I had a look at research that looks at those types of things. The only one that I found was a paper written by, um, okay, so let's, you know, uh, consider the pronunciations may not be correct. Adriana Zydek and Anna Piotrowska. Okay, so, yeah. Very good paper though, because it actually looks at different researchers that are out there. And so it's a review on literature of cryonotherapy. Um, I didn't, yeah, didn't find a lot in terms of how it works to rejuvenate the skin and you know whether there's research out there that supports that I really didn't find any the only thing I could find was that in terms of rejuvenation um, this paper looked at hydration and that um, if you're using cryonotherapy for hydration it does work um, but the doesn't work so well in older skins. So because of the structure of the skin and you know all the things that can go wrong and the types of hormones that, that you know, because there's an increased amount of hormones that are secreted. So I found that very interesting because it's such a simple thing and there's a, a lot of talk that it's very good for um, you know, collagen, it's very good for elastin, rejuvenating the skin. There is one thing that uh, the, there is research out um, with respect to weight loss. So in conjunction with weight loss, if you use crinotherapy, um, it can help with the, the fat loss. So they've got, you know, fat freezing. They use it. It's very good for that. And so they've got machines that it, and these machines work. But in terms of rejuvenation, I... There wasn't a lot out there. So, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't work. I strongly believe that it does. Um, because there's talk that, you know... It works in the same way as you injure your skin. Um, and so when you injure your skin, you know, your body starts to produce more collagen and elastin and all, all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, the, the authors that I mentioned wrote a paper on the use of cryotherapy in cosmetology and the influence of cryogenic temperatures on selected skin parameters, a review of literature. So it's basically just a review of um, what was out there. Um, 
what they did say was that there is research out there we, that um, demonstrates positive effects on the reduction of inflammation and oxidative stress, which is the same thing as aging skin. Um, in terms of treatment that can be used with cryotherapy, it talks about lentil spots, you know, age spots, um, like a type of keratosis, which is like, must be lumps on the surface of the skin, ingrown toenails, you know, removal of viral warts, and all of that sort of stuff. I mean, there's research on cryotherapy in terms of um, putting your body under that cold stress. It's meant to help with things like um, depression, um, and even if you have one of those cold baths, it's supposed to be very good for your mood. Okay, so in terms of my mask and all the, the benefits that it brings, I know that it does bring benefits, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find literature to support it. I'm still going to use it because I think it's great. Um, like all my other things, um, I get most of my stuff from eBay and Amazon. Um, so I got this one from eBay for under $20. I think it was $12. Very cheap. Um, and um, I'm hoping that it brings a lot of good results. Um, and, and if I do see something special, I'll let you know. So um, I hope that was informative and a um, little bit disappointing because I was hoping to find some good literature to support the crinotherapy, but unfortunately in terms of facial rejuvenation, I wasn't able to find any. So I look forward to seeing you in my next, in my next thingamabob and um, like and subscribe to this channel. Okay, thank you.